So this is what our new theme looks like. Now the very first thing I'm going to want to do is customize it. Um, you've got all kinds of different great options with the customization. So let's take a look at that in this theme real quick. To find the customization options, you're going to go down to Graphene Options, as well as Background and Header. So I'm going to start with the header. Um, and that's that, if we go back to what we were looking at earlier, that's this portion up here, the little blue and green stripes. So if we go to header, you can see we've got a bunch of different options you can actually pick from right here. So let's say we want to just try this one here. And we'll save the changes. Go back and we'll refresh this. And there we go. Now we should probably change the text color on this one because it's very dark. So let's go back in there and change the text color on that. So right now that's the color for black, but let's go ahead and change. We'll select a color. Let's make it white just to make it easy. Well, that's not quite white, but it's close. There we go. That's white. Save changes. Come back here. Refresh. And now we've got this nice and white. So that's how we can do a uh, select a background that's already predefined. Okay, so now that we've learned how to assign one of the random ones here, and you can pick whatever one you want. So let's pick another one just for example. And let's save the changes. Go back and refresh this again by clicking on the title. And again, we've got a new one. You can also create your own if you want. Um, we've already got one that's been pre-created, so let me find that really quick here. Go down head, and we'll upload that. Okay, so now we've got this nice little custom header that we made. Now this text is kind of sticking up above it, so in this case, we might not want to display the text, so we're gonna say no on that. We might have to save this twice. We'll see what happens here. Sometimes it makes you do it twice. Yep, it's going to do it twice. So the first time save the image, the next time we're going to save the text not being on there. And now we don't have text. And if we go back to our main website and we click this, now you'll see we've got this. Now at this point, that's not clickable. So we're going to fix that. We'll wait and do that until after we've done the background also. So this looks pretty nice, but I'd also like to customize the background. The background's cool on this, but I'm going to try to make it a little more custom to my school. So let's go to the background here. Now one option is just to select a color. You know, we could just say, actually I've got a green that I've been using. I'll use that. There it is. Okay, so that's just one of the options right there. We'll just save changes. There we go. And if we refresh this by hitting home, you'll see that we now have this nice green background. I'm going to customize it just a little bit more by adding an image as well. So I'm going to browse here. I've got a little faded graphic that we do here. Go upload. All right, and at this point, that's what the graphic looks like. We don't want it to tile and repeat itself. We want it to just do it one time. So it'll be up there. We'll make it on the left. It's pretty long, so it doesn't matter. Um, and we can make it fixed if we want so that when the page scrolls, it doesn't move. Or we can have it move with the scrolling. I'm going to go with the fix because I think that's kind of cool. And we're going to save the changes. And you'll notice that it's just going to be up in here. It's pretty subtle, but it is going to change the way the page looks. There we go. So it kind of brightens it up up there. And you'll notice as we scroll down that it stays up there. It doesn't uh, go away as we scroll because we've made it fixed. So now that we've customized this, Let's go into some of the more uh, in-depth options within the theme itself. So let's go to Graphene Options. And we're going to click on Display to start with. And what we can do here, let's click Toggle All Tabs. It makes it a little bit easier. So first of all, Link Header Image to Front Page. So we're going to check that. And what that's going to do is uh, make it so that when we click on this logo or anything in this image, actually, it'll take us back to the home page, which I think is a good idea. Um, another feature, if you do a custom image on the top, you probably want to check this. If you don't, you might want to leave it unchecked. But it, um, if you check this, it's going to make sure that this image is always up on the top. If you don't check it, sometimes when you upload the correct image size approximately to a post, it will actually take that image and put it up here, which is kind of cool, unless you've made your own custom image. So in our case, we're going to disable that, but feel free to leave that as it is. You can also check this to do a random uh, header, which is kind of cool. So we're going to start with those options, and we're going to save it, so you can see what happens here. 
So now if we go back home, you'll notice that now this is an image that we can click on and it'll reload the page for us. So we've fixed that problem. Let's toggle all tabs again. Now here's where you can pick our columns. Uh, I'm going to stick with this one where we've got the wide column on the side and then a sidebar. But you can also change it to anything you want. So if you want something that's close to this Micklejohn original design um, with the two double sidebars, you could very easily click this option right here and it will make the double sidebar for you. Okay, so I'm going to bring all the tabs back up uh, to shrink them down here. And now we're going to click on color options. And this is where we can customize the way the colors look. So first of all, we're looking at right now this area uh, where it says archives and meta. And that's where this widget title thing is. So what we can do is we can just click in here and pick any color you want. So let's say you're a red school. You can go red. And that's going to be the little border at the bottom. Then you've got the bottom color. So we want that to be a little bit darker red. So let's make that that's almost a purple. Let's change that down here. We'll go a little bit darker. And then this is the top one. So let's make that a little bit brighter. Somewhere in that category. And now we've got a nice red one. Um, in my case, I've got a couple colors already picked out actually. So let me just paste these in real fast here. All right, so that's what we've decided to pick for our school. And then if we continue to scroll down a little further, you also have the slider back ground preview that you can change and that is this color right here. Well, one of our other colors in addition to the blue is this purple so let's make that a little purple but it's going to work the exact same way as before. You can slide this around and make it whatever you want. You know we can make it purple or anything. I've got a couple colors that I've already picked out so I'm going to pick, put those in real quick here. All right okay so now we have that set up. Now if we want we can also change the button color. Um, I'm not going to change it, but in this case, you very easily could. So let's say we want to make it you know, a red label or a yellow label or something like that. You can absolutely do that. I'm going to stick with the white. So let's go down to the bottom, and we're going to hit Save Options. And let's take a look at our changes. So this should change colors, and this should change colors. So let's refresh and make sure that happened. And it did. Now we have a more subdued color here. And we've got our regular purple right here, which is nice looking. 